I'm explorer and storm chaser George Karunas, and I just got back from an amazing voyage to Alaska aboard the Queen Elizabeth cruise ship, where I was giving a series of talks for the Royal Canadian Geographical Society. And let me tell you, when we left Vancouver and headed up through the Northwest Passage, I saw some of the most pristine wilderness areas that I have ever witnessed. Probably the most incredible thing that I saw were the glaciers up there. And of course, a glacier is nothing more than a river, but instead of water, it's solid ice. And this is ice that has formed over hundreds, sometimes thousands of years. It falls up in the high mountains as snow, piles up, compresses, all of the air gets squeezed out of it, and it slowly works its way down the mountainside. And in the case of the glaciers in Alaska, a lot of them terminate right at sea level, right at the ocean. My favorite of the glaciers that I saw had to be the Hubbard Glacier. Now, interestingly, about 95% of Alaska's glaciers are receding, but not the Hubbard. This one is actually one of the few glaciers that are still advancing, and that's good news for glaciers. The reason why the Hubbard Glacier is doing so well is because the vast majority of it is way up in the mountains above 10,000 feet along the border with Alaska and Yukon. Part of this glacier is on the edge of Mount Logan, which is the highest mountain in all of Canada. So as it slowly works its way down the mountainside, that glacier will eventually make it to the sea. And that's what happens here in this part of Alaska. And the glacier will calve off and create these gigantic icebergs that will eventually float out and melt at some point. And you gotta be very careful when you're navigating a boat around these glaciers because they can split and crack and form these icebergs at any moment. And I've seen it happen in places like Antarctica and Greenland. You don't want to be anywhere near it when that happens. Being in the ship and seeing the Hubbard Glacier just spread across the whole horizon was just absolutely one of the highlights of this trip. It was an absolute privilege to be able to go to Alaska and see so many of these majestic glaciers up close and in person. But as we all know, these glaciers are getting smaller and smaller every year. 